vast majority of them do not have any interest in, in warfare or violence, but they do have a real interest in why we believe what we believe. And while we, when we have opportunity, we should be, we should be pursuing it uh, zealously um, because they don't know who the Jesus of the Bible is. Whenever I ask Christians, I ask Christian audiences, how many of you read the Quran? You'll get a few people to go, parts, you know, things like that. If I asked a Muslim audience the same question, that's what you're going to get. About the Bible, I mean. Uh, parts. Um, so there's this massive chasm of misunderstanding. And we, we're the ones that need to be uh, bridging that chasm, and that's, that's really what the book is about. Is I, I, My hope is that a Christian who reads it, and it's not easy reading. I mean, my publisher may not want me to say this, but it's not easy reading. And I've already been criticized for that. Obviously, I'd like it to be a textbook. It's going to be functioning as a textbook. I've already been told by some professors that it will. But the fact of the matter is, whenever anybody can criticizes it for that, my immediate response is, if you're about to talk to a Muslim who had just read a book called What Every Muslim Needs to Know About the Bible, wouldn't you wish that the Muslim author had been as thorough and fair and hence as in-depth as I was in dealing with the Quran? And I think most people would go, yeah, yeah, that might be a good idea. Uh, you, you don't want some type of shallow misrepresentation that you now have to get over. And uh, we as Christians, we've got we've to live by that same standard.